And people living in Lake Forest say they're having a hard time believing this gruesome crime was committed in their neighborhood. WKRG News 5's Whitney Leibold joins us live from that subdivision tonight. Whitney, this is the first quadruple homicide to happen in Daphne and possibly the county. I know residents there have got to just be absolutely shaken. Dan and Roseanne, they know that this is a rare occurrence, but the residents I spoke to say they'll never take their safety for granted ever again. Lake Forest is an Eastern Shore neighborhood well known for being large and family friendly. But after the quadruple murders, folks who live there are shocked that an incident like this hit their quiet Baldwin County subdivision. I've lived here since uh, February 2012 and, and nothing like this has ever happened. Yeah, I mean, Nothing. Like, like Cook works at a nearby restaurant and says she enjoys being able to walk to and from work every night. But after Wednesday's incident, she's thinking twice. And I walk to work because I live like a football field away and I a lot of times walk to work and home from work, you know, so I'm kind of afraid to do that anymore. As for another nearby resident, he and his wife heard loud bangs and he assumed it was something else because of how secure he thought Lake Forest is. I heard it faintly. I heard it. But between the television and my wife talking, um, she heard it a little more definitive, definitively. Um, and she goes, did you hear that? I go, yeah, I kind of heard it. She goes, that, that sounds like gunshots. gunshots. And I was like, well, maybe it was fireworks. I don't know. And Ellis said minutes later, they heard sirens and realized something was going on. Later to find out four people were murdered just yards away from his home. Yes, it scares me that it's right down the street. You, you always think that it's not going to be, and, and here it is. Right. So it's it's upsetting. It really is. Ellis and Cook both mentioned that they still feel like Lake Forest is a safe place to live and be, but they'll always have this incident in the back of their minds. Live in Daphne, I'm Whitney Leibel, WKRG News 5.